today we're going to be taking a look at some of my top 10 font combinations when it comes down to designing your work whether it be digital or print if you're ready for this let's just get into the video Hi guys and welcome to Digital Perspective, I'm Khaled and in today's video, as I said, we're going to be taking a look at some of my top 10 fonts in terms of font combinations and having to decide what type of font uh, combo to use in terms of your design. Now, I'm just going to go straight into it, I'm just going to jump into my first one. Now my first one from Kaima Media, they're a London based um, uh, gaming and sports media and the two fonts that they've picked in their design, which I'm you probably can see on the screen now, is JAF Lapture and Muso Sans. I've personally never used JF, JAF, but it just looks really phenomenal. It kind of looks, in a way, like um, you know something like a Playfair display um, or you know something like that, but slightly more kind of closer to a Sans Serif, if I can say that. Uso Sans, I've used personally before. I love that font. I think it's versatile. It's beautiful, and you can take a look at the way that Kaima Media used it on their designs. It's it's made it look like so that you know obviously use the JAF. Um, as their main body, um, but on their website designs, you can see that they've kind of mixed the two. Um, but again, very good, consistent coloring, uh, uh, font choice, uh, and legibility is great. My second one is from a company called Alfonte Social Media, right? Or Alfonte Social Media account. Um, now, they are a music distributor in Latin America, I believe, and just taking a look at their presence when it comes down to the font and the colors that they've picked is beautiful it's vibrant it's it's very latin american um, now we all you know assume latin american uh, uh, things are very colorful they're vibrant they're beautiful and and this shows you know alfonte show it in their in their in not only in their color design but in their font now the font that they've picked is sharp grotesque and that's the only font that they've picked obviously they use it in their family um uh, bracket so you got it from black to bold to extra bold all the way down to light but they've used it well it, it, obviously in their case they've gone predominantly for the extra bold or the black um font weight but again just look at the colors and the design it's very clean it's legible it's 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 just beautiful i love it it's it's it, that's why it's in this list next one moving on is the famous kind of text or poster you might have or might have not seen from john lennon and yoko which is war is over and Quick guess before I tell you what it is, what font do you think that they've used for that post? Did you get it? No? It's Franklin Gothic or Franklin Goth, right? And that was the famous font that was used in that famous poster, um, which John Lennon was seen um, holding to promote, you know, the, the, I believe the campaign that he had for stopping the war. I, I don't remember what war it is. Um, I believe it's the Vietnam War. You can correct me in the comment section below. I don't know. But that's the font that they've gone. That's the only font that he's used and not anything else. But again, just look at it, it's beautiful. And it's it's kind of become part of the, the image, right? And just to show you, I'm showing you some examples now where you know people have used the same concept, but used it in, in, in more modern day um, um, news or things that's going on. And you can just see, you can still see some of the element going in, in terms of the structure. It almost feels like the keep calm, carry on type things, which I'm sure everyone by now every designer is grown bored of it and tired of it and seen it everywhere moving on to my next one it's from tinder now tinder is an application obviously everyone's probably sure aware of it but one thing i took a look at was their design aesthetics right now tinder's uh, current campaign or they've had a campaign recently depending on uh, when you're watching this video is the single not sorry campaign now in that campaign they've used two fonts uh first one I believe was the Suzy Works and the second one was Proxima Nova. Now Proxima Nova again I've used before in my daily designs but Suzy Works I've not but I, again I do like the like uh, the look of it. Again it's 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 a combination that they've played with which is the serif and the sans serif they've kept both um, uh, and, and it's 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 a combination which most people tend to do now. They tend to have a serif and a sans serif and use that as an alternative or, or, or alternating between each other or they go the other way around. Right? So that's essentially how it works. But again, Suzy works and Proxima Nova. Now moving on to the next one is from Medium or medium.com. Everyone's familiar with Medium. Um, and the two fonts that they use is the JAF Bernino uh, and the Freytext. 
right? Now the JF, JAF is the sans serif version and the freight text is the serif version. And again, Medium is probably one of my favorite sites. I spend days and days on, I probably were trying to read articles, right? And the one thing you cannot fault on medium.com, it's legibility. It's pinpoint correct down to the font size, down to the to the anti-aliasing of the fonts, down to the font selection, right? It's just a beautifully readable website, right? That's again, why it's made it into my list, right? Going on from that one, um, the next one is a really kind of a, a slightly unknown um, company. It's called Modo Constructions, they're in Argentina. And I really like their logo font. Forget the body font and everything else that they use, but it's their body font that I love, uh, their logo font that I love. And that's using a font called Proptico, or Prop Tipo, um, and it's just a just a very thick, old, um, slightly narrow, condensed um, font. And it reminds me of fonts like Helvetica, um, you know, Source Sans Pro, San Francisco's. It's just it's like one of those. But again, it's just something about the way that the the, the O's and, and, and the, the shape that they have to really kind of sell it out for me. And this is again why I put it into my list. My next one is from Apprenda Design, uh, his website or their brand. Um, now they use two fonts. They use the Synth fonts and the Newhouse Grotesque or Newhouse Grand. And again, they've gone for the same combination of having a sans serif with a serif font combination. And again, they've alternated it between, however. Now, in most cases, people tend to pick which one it is that they want. They'll say something like, the sans serif is my main font and the serif is my sub font. But in this case, they don't care. They literally alternate between them, where depending on where the you know where the content is going. I, I like the way it's come together. Right. My next one. It's more of a in-person, real-life experience type one. I mean, it works great online as well. Don't get me wrong. The, um, it, it's it's an installation which was done at the Met Gallery. Um, I believe. It is the, the Felix Valoton, Valoton, correct me if I'm mispronouncing it, display, right? Um, they had an exhibition for this artist um, and, and, and they put it in it. In fact, let me see how it is Felix Valoton. Let me see, find out who it is. Swiss and French painter, right? Um, very interesting. Very interesting. Kind of he liked to paint portraits, landscapes, nudes and still lives and some unemotional in an unemotional realistic style very interesting I mean, my kind of reason why he's made this list isn't because of him but it's more because of the font that the um the the exhibition designers have used when designing his exhibition at the met and they've used two fonts well it's half the same font but it's two versions of the same font one is the louise display and one is just the louise right um, now they've gone for the Louise display for their main headers because you know it's made, you know it's it's made to be legible, um, slightly in larger fonts or in larger font sizes, whereas the Louise is it, it's more legible in terms of any font sizes, you know, better small, better in large. Again, both of them, sans, uh, serif fonts, beautiful serif fonts. I have never used it personally, but if I get my hands on it, why not? It, it's a phenomenal font. I love it, and you can see from some of the examples that I'm showing you what they've done with it. The ninth one uh, we're going to be taking a look at it's from Post Crisis. Now Post Crisis is a bunch of architects in, in the visual arts uh, and, and contemporary thinking and they have used a font which again in, in some most most designers or some people might not see the difference between any sans serif font but for me this this was one of those fonts which had a few things standing out from it when it was things like the R's or the C's for the Loved it, really good. You can just see that's the thing that makes it different. And it goes well with all the designs that they've put on there. It's, it's, it's very, for me, it's very, it's almost Bauhaus um, style. It has that kind of grit, contemporary, um, new age kind of look. And I love it. I, I love it. If I, I completely forgot to even tell you what fonts they use, that's how much I love this thing. Okay, sorry. So the fonts that they use is one is called Doctor and the other one is called Graphique, right? Those are the two fonts that they use. And again, really awesome fonts if you can get your hands on it try it out you won't forget it i promise you my last one is the new era cap company's campaign that they've done um i believe it's in 2009 
Um, it's the We Rain as One campaign. They've used two fonts for this. They've used Media Sans and Big Carlson. Now, Big Carlson, I'm very familiar with. I've used it in, in one of my projects before for a hotel. Um, but Media Sans is one I've not come across, and I think it's a really, it's a strange one. Not gonna lie, but. I can see why New Era, New, New Era Cap have gone for it. Um, you can see from some of the examples, it's a very big font, old and loud, and, 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 and it really stands out. And I'm sure, you know, uh, New Era Cap is used to putting their billboards in, in places of bus stops, you know, larger scale billboards, and they want people to kind of see it as they go past it, right? And, and I think this is the right font choice for them. I love the combination, that's just me. Um, and that's it, really. I hope you've enjoyed my top 10 combinations. And if you enjoyed this video, please make sure that you hit that like button at the bottom. And while you're down there, subscribe if you can and turn that notification bell on. It does help us out a lot. And until the next video, I guess I'll see you there. Peace.